So Valen's mission in Africa is to develop a super tank, the RAT. It's hard to imagine the destructive power if it's ever deployed. But the tide of the war is turning. The Allies have retaken Tobruk and thinned Valen's supply lines. He's desperate to finish the RAT before he loses favor with Hitler. A combination of that desperation and Allied intel has helped us locate the construction facility. This is the last stop on the way. With the help of the LRDG, I'm to disable this airfield and completely sever Valen's supply route. I'll move in from the west and set up near the south gate. When the LRDG begin their attack, I'll provide covering fire. All hell will break loose when they turn up. It would be smart to take out the communications tower and cut down on reinforcements. Either way, this is going to get loud. It's about time for another night mission. The streak is over. It was going back and forth. A mission in the day, then at night. So what am I dealing with here? Explosives everywhere. Let's make this fast. Splash! Ooh! Ooh! Perfect distraction! I'm out of here! How about those fireworks? Happy 4th of July! <laughs> Woo! Oh wait, what am I doing? I gotta keep it stealthy. I'm not trying to deal... I'm, I'm not trying to battle with all these guys. I'm gonna get my crouch on now. I'm gonna crouch the entire way. I heard that Watch Dogs has some DLC, but not really, because if you got the Collector's Edition or Special Edition or something, oh, you already know. A Red Barrel, you already know. Splash! <laughs> but apparently the DLC for Watch Dogs was like the pre-order bonus for the Collector's Edition or something like that. So it's technically not really DLC, but it is. So maybe I'll skip over that. I don't know. I heard the missions aren't that good either. They don't really have cut scenes. It's just kind of like doing a fixer contract. And speaking of DLC, I think even this game, Sniper Elite 3 has DLC. How do they have DLC so fast? The game just came out. That's some cheese. I hope it's not that DLC that's already on the disc and then when you get the DLC, they just unlock it. I hope it's real DLC. If I could avoid a confrontation right here, this would be great. Because look at this. There's guards there, over there. This is bad. This is very... Oh, there's even guards over there. Come on now. I have to play it stealthy. They're not even going to see me. I'm crouching. I'm going to take my sweet little time. You know what DLC I'm really looking forward to, though, is Grand Theft Auto V. They've been taking their sweet little time with that, but you know that's going to be quality. Because when they put out DLC, it's the real deal. Rockstar, they know what they're doing. So far, so good. Avoiding all conflict. Avoiding this fight that would take who knows how long it would take. I have to open these doors to get underground. You know what's funny about this game? Even though... Even though the enemies are not that bright, the AI is not that great, but their hearing is unbelievable. They're like dogs. They can hear anything. If you start running, you could be downstairs and they hear it if they're upstairs or vice versa. They could be on the roof. You're down in a basement and you run and they know you're running. That is some cheese. So I'll just get my crouch on if I see anybody in that inner circle. Where are these guys? Oh, they're directly below me. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I might be able to get a collateral. My first collateral of the game. Look at these noobs. They're walking in the same. I think so. If I just, yes, I can do it. I'm going to give it a shot. Why not let it fly? The first guy, the second guy. That was dope. 
Forget about stealth. That is worth it. For them to know I'm here to get a collateral, that is worth it. And it looks like there's nobody down here anyway, so that was perfect. It was worth it, and it was perfect. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, wait, there's somebody right here. Oh, no, he's upstairs. I don't have to worry about him. He's upstairs. But there is another guy right here. See if I can take him out quietly. That'll be nice. That'll make this mission so easy if I don't have to fight anybody. Oh, wait a second. They're all on patrol. I guess I made a lot of noise. They, they must have heard that. I mean, a collateral, that has to make a sound. <laughs> don't tell me this guy is going to come all the way over here. Really? Take this rock. Look, a rock. No, not you. No. The, I wanted that guy to hear the rock, not the other guy. Come on, cuh. Oh, oh my gosh, he's head glitching. Get down to the ground. Oh, he's still alive. Look at this cheese. I thought I had a headshot. Oh my God, run. Ooh, I got stuck. Another glitch, I got stuck. <laughs> I was moving in slow motion. Take that. Okay. If he's got a Thompson, I got my Thompson. Get down to the ground, noob. <laughs> Woo. See, good thing I didn't take that anti-vehicle, whatever that thing is called. Because, oh, well, I guess I could have used it, but it's not the same. You want a Thompson a noob. You want to be able to lay somebody out in their back like that. Beautiful. I think there's one more guy, but let me just see what this is. Give me that. Let me heal myself up. Make this quick. There's two guys now. There was only one before, so what are they doing? Are they calling reinforcements? Get down to the ground with your reinforcements. Listen, guy, if you just go back right now and just forget like this ever happened, you can go home to your wife or whoever you got in your life. Uh, I guess not. I guess you wanted to die. Whatever. There's some prisoners. Why not free them? Thank you. I thought we were done for. That's an easy optional objective. I'm not trying to go out of my way to do those because you got to go out of your way just to complete these missions. I wonder how many hours of gameplay is this game? Because if you do all the optional stuff, each mission is going to take you over an hour to complete because there's so many things to do. But I don't think this game is that long if you don't do the optional objectives. That's why a game like Assassin's Creed it's crazy because the main game is like 10 or 11 hours and that's without doing any of the optional stuff, doing any exploring. If you do that, you can easily rack up over 100 hours. I guess that's the difference between a AAA game and a game that isn't a AAA game. I don't know how many A's this game is, but it's definitely not AAA, that's for sure. Because the price tag, I don't even think this game is 60. I think this game retails for 50. One thing I've noticed about Let's Plays is that if a game is 10 hours or more, the main story, if it's like a 10 hour game, it's usually epic. Most games are like four to five hours. Then some of the medium sized games are like seven to eight hours, but the really epic games like Grand Theft Auto V, The Last of Us, Assassin's Creed, they're always 10 hours or more. Is my observation correct? Because Tomb Raider, I think is like seven or eight hours. Watch Dogs was eight hours. Infamous Second Son was four hours. And the reason I know how long these games are is because I've done the Let's Play. I look in the playlist and that's how long it was when I finished. So that's how I know the length of these games. Uh oh. How did he not see me? Oh, wait, wait. Oh, oh, he sees me. This isn't good. Oh, I missed. Ooh. This pistol, I think they did a good job with the pistol in this game. Because since you can only shoot one time and you have to reload, that means you can't run around the map with the pistol. You can't do that. You can't play that stealthy. Also, there's not that much ammo with it either. I'll destroy the radios. Then they can't call for reinforcements. I don't know if I should... 
I don't know if I should do that because that's an optional objective. Actually, if it's right there, I might as well disable it. Is that it? Is that the... Oh, wait, there's somebody there. Never mind. I ain't got time for that. If there's somebody there, forget it. I don't need that optional objective. If I do what I gotta do, they're never even gonna know where I am. They're not gonna be able to call reinforcements because I'm gonna be beasting and feasting. Oh yes, a sniper's nest. I don't need to disable the radios. I'm in the sniper's nest, baby. Let's do this. I've got 80 bullets. That means I've got to take out 80 noobs. Every shot's got to count. Oh, wow. Look at all these people. Holy moly. Oh, let's make a splash. Oh, wait. I only got one kill. That ain't a splash. This one could be, though. Uh-oh. Splash. You don't want it with me. Sniper Elite 3, ramen baby. They've got their backs turned to me. I'm not gonna waste any bullets. I'm gonna be a perfect sniper. I'm gonna make up for that last mission where I missed that guy point blank range. Every shot's gonna count this time. Just take my time. They have no idea I'm here. This is unbelievable. With all these shots, how do they not know I'm back? I guess because there's so much chaos right now. They're fighting. There's a truck. They ain't got time to look behind them. They think it's all good. What do you think about this slow motion bullet? Does it get annoying after a while? Or is it dope every single time? What do you think? I should have asked that a long time ago because I believe you can skip them. Obviously, it's nice to show it every once in a while. But right now, should I really show it 50 times in a row? 50 slow mo. I know it's not going to be a heart shot because you're just not allowed to get heart shots in this game. You can get every other shot, but not the heart shot. You can get the back, the liver, intestine, the testicles, lungs, neck, head, eyes, nose. You could even hit him in the toes, but you cannot hit him in the heart. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, that's right in the leg. And that truck is beasting and feasting. Look at this. I don't even have to shoot. Whoever's on that truck, they know what they're doing. Oh, wow. There's people over there, too. I got to hurry up. I got to step my game up. I got to step my game up. Splash. Wow. These guys are never going to stop. Oh, I missed a shot. Oh, my gosh. I just wasted a bullet. Got to take this guy out first because he has that anti-vehicle weapon. So if I don't get him, he's going to get whoever. Oh, oh, that's a heart. Finally, I get a heart shot. I took that guy's heart out. I ripped it out. It only took me seven missions to find the heart. Oh, my gosh. Can I get the heart again? Let me get the heart again. Come on, cuh. Ah, I got the ribs. I can't believe it. All right, I think we're done with this with this slow motion. Let me just, let's just make this fast. There's too many people out here. Let's skip it. I'm just gonna start skipping. Look how fast I can go now. Now I can pull off those consecutive shots. You know it's a sniping session when you're reloading. You know you're taking noobs out. Let's make this fast. Look at this. Just moving from body to body. Bam. Bam. They stand no chance. Look at this. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Is there anybody left? Because I don't see anybody. I think that might be it. I, I don't. Yeah, that's it. I did it. Mission complete. Oh, what the? Take down all German vehicles. Oh my God. How many vehicles are there? And I don't even have that weapon. I, what? Don't forget to like this video for faster uploads.